Hey guys, welcome to All Street Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby King. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And uh, we've had a little bit of a time to digest and think about it. And this is our full review of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. Like, I, I, I like um, this show. It's, it's a pretty cool show. Uh, granted, it, it's a pilot, so there's a lot of things that you're never going to see in, in, in any pilot. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't just lay the whole show out on on the first episode. Because if you try, you, well, you, you, you could, but that'd be stupid. Because <laughs> then why would I turn in and watch it again? To so watch Phil be funny. Yeah, because Phil is funny. He's funny. Phil, Phil is funny. <laughs> there was a dark corner I couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> but this the show is pretty cool. I mean, um, the uh, the guy isn't Power Man as far as we can tell at least yet. But, yeah, but aside I mean, from they, that, they left the window open. Like, it, it could be possibly dubbed because they, they, they erased his old name and they haven't given him a new name. It's like they're waiting to figure out if it's going to work. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and if that, and if that's the case, they can't have the black man be prominent yet. No, you know, not yet. Cause he has he, to move he, forward. He's not on the on the posters. Yeah. He wasn't in the preview for next week. Have you seen... Have you ever watched Angel? Uh, yes. Yeah, he's the black guy from Angel. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He was. He was gun. So, oh. and in Angel, if you remember, he didn't come up until like midway through the second season, and then he became one of the most prominent characters on the show, but not until midway through second season. Trying to make him earn his way up. So <laughs> yeah. So you know, we may not see him again until they get season two. Yeah. By the way, his acting was. Uh, uh, his son was whiny. Well, his son was like eight in the middle of New York and I believe the Battle of New York just happened like a week ago. Yeah, and, <laughs> and his dad, you know, who's got super strength can't get a job. What's up with that? How, do you, how does that work exactly? Because he's black. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can I lift a car but I can't work in a steel mill. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, um, but the, like overall, the 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 plot here was pretty cool. It was an origin story. Yeah, he said that. Actually, yeah. he actually said that. And that was an epic line. That was that. Whoever wrote that line, you you deserve your money for the show. It's an origin story. Jump out the window. But you know, the characters that they introduced, um, the new young agent guy who just became level seven. Yeah. That that he, he's a meathead who's not going to ever contribute anything other than fighting, which is really why he's there. Yeah, but 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 he's a pretty good fighter though. Yeah, I mean, um, he's alright. Hot Asian chick. Yeah, which is always, always good to have. yeah. That's always that's always a You've beautiful thing to have. You got scientist nerds who are probably going to end up being in love with each other, who are crazy and talking sciency stuff mm -hmm. all the time. Then you've got a uh, hacker chick. Yeah, and yeah. hacker chick actually she was pretty cool. Yeah, she was pretty cool. She was pretty cool. She's better than Shield uh, apparently. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which would never happen in the comic books. The, the, no one's better than Shield. The fact that Agent Coulson goes. You know what? Um, she's an asset because we don't know anything about her, and that never happened. <laughs> right? You know, the the fact that she was totally off even Shield's grid. Okay, that's impressive. That, that yeah, impressive. I mean, the only person that ever done that that I know of recently was uh, Banner. And actually, they knew where he was. Nah, but well, I mean, they come the comics. Oh, yeah, the comics. The comics. So was, he, Banner found Shield. Yeah, he just <laughs> kind of walked up. But <laughs> but you know, it's funny because I mean, like Shield knows about us. Yeah, <laughs> and they're, they're like real. Like, yeah, we know about the people in the real world. We, we we have an extensive network, but they don't know her. So yeah. you know that that was pretty impressive. Yeah, and 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 I liked how at the end of the show when you know Colson was like, "You got ten minutes to decide if you want to know mm -hmm. what this is," and she's like, "Yeah, how are you there ten minutes?" The lying car. <laughs> like there were some very cool moments yeah. in this show, and hopefully their budget will get bigger and bigger. Um, I I I like how they had Maria Hill there. Because yeah. they probably can't afford Samuel to be there even once a season, probably. It's probably That's too true. much. <laughs> and, you know, um, there, there's a good chance you might even get to see a couple of Banner cameos, which is... Which, I'm hoping, because isn't he getting his own show or something? Well, they said, and then they said maybe not. Then they said he might get movies. So, but his he's show was really popular back in the, in, the, in the old days. The olden days of TV. You mean when Lou Ferrigno, the yeah. Lou, was playing the Hulk? I'm sure Lou Ferrigno wouldn't mind voicing some Hulk, uh... Luke like, could probably you know. still play Hulk, man. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 he's big as crap. He's big. He he's big a big as dude. crap, dude. But I mean, there are a lot of really cool things happening in this show, and a lot, of, and, and a lot of really cool things that could possibly happen in this show. Um, we saw flashes of Iron Man, Thor, and Hulk on the screen, and only Captain America. That's probably all they could afford to do because they, they had toys. Yeah, they, 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 they had the toys. Any, for a long any, time. any more shots from the movie, you now have to pay somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think um, 
I think actually one of the cool things that could happen from this show is like they could actually roll what's going to happen into the like the Avengers two in out of the show. You know, like you could say we don't know where Ultron is going to come from. Maybe Ultron comes from the show. Yeah, they could make this show a launching pad for like the middle parts of movies. You know, like yeah. like in between movies, like oh there you go. Like Hank Pym could be introduced here because I'm sure he's not going to be a major actor. Probably not. It's not, it's not. it's not a major role. Yeah, I mean, like I, I looked at the 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 Ant Man mm -hmm. armor. It's ugly. So it's probably it, like it, some new kid. It, yeah, it's it probably some person yeah. you've never heard of before. By the way, uh, there, that's not a trailer for uh, Thor: The Dark World, which was okay. I mean, this one looks like it has more action than the last one. Uh, there's a team up with Loki, and then they had the best scene ever in the commercial where they had the the Avengers scene where they all turn around like the circle thing. That was my favorite shot. I'm like, yes, that probably won't actually be in the movie though. Yeah, well, I mean, it shouldn't be because you know. No, it should be. It, it should be the Avengers. because it was an amazing shot. Because they start off with Hulk. He was like, yeah, yeah. It should be a Justice League shot, but there's no Justice League. They're because they're yet. afraid. Because they're cowards. They're not afraid. They're gonna do it. They're just gonna do it in like 2017 yeah, no, now. No, no, they don't have time for that. They need to do it now. Well, and since since we you know segue so well into DC just then segue yeah okay <laughs> there's been some new developments with DC also mm -hmm. you know they they cast the Flash and he's some guy from what Glee he uh he was one of the guys uh, love interest so he's like a 18 year old who's going to play a 30 year old works at a police station now now they he did actually explain that they said. He's going to be in his like early twenties, and they're going. He's going to be an up and comer now instead of like this established guy. So instead of like being the best forensic scientist like he is in the comic books, mm -hmm. he's now going to be, be a like new a new forensic that's scientist. How he, that's how he messes up and gets the flash power, uh, or Dude, something like, like that. Like, I watch Glee, but I'm not gonna be able to see him as Flash. I'm like, so when are you gonna start dancing? Like, <laughs> when, when does the singing start? Dude, you need to get over back to the coast because regionals is happening. Don't help Arrow. Go sing. I can't. I can't see him. He may get like some some peach fuzz or something. It's not going to work. It's not. I, I've seen him in way too long. They'll change his hair. They'll give him a comb over. It's like something. freaking. I can be watching Les Mis. And I'm like, okay, so why is Wolverine fighting the Gladiator right now? Like, I don't understand what's going on. That's true. Like, like, <laughs> like with Hugh Jackman, it's exactly the opposite. Everything that he does he's is Wolverine. Wolverine doing something. It's it. It's Wolverine. And, like, like the the new one he's in. Uh, the one where he's like a parent or whatever. Yeah. That's Wolverine, Wolverine as... beating up a guy. You know, it's like Wolverine <laughs> getting his kids back. You know, it's just like eh. now it's gonna be. I, I I I didn't know you know what his name was in Glee. He was he was like he was like the um like the main group's like arch nemesis uh -huh. kind of thing. Like the group was called the Warblers or something. So it's like I'm gonna see you as guy from the Warblers running super fast. Okay, now. Fans, I, I have I have a confession to make. I have never seen not one episode of Glee, not one. That that one chick Sue something the the really angry chick. She's hilarious. Never seen it. Don't know who you're talking about. She makes fun of all the Glee kids constantly. Matter of fact, the only reason why I know who anybody from Glee is is because one's playing the Flash and one's on Dancing with the Stars. This big, this black chick who, by the way, can dance her butt off. She's black. She's black. She's black. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, hopefully they do well. I mean, uh, I mean, they, they can do a lot with uh, <laughs> TV now. So hopefully they'll be able to convince convince me that uh, he can be Flash. Well, and then you know it's, it's funny because like um, people are talking about how the DC is trying to do something that's never been done before, segueing TV shows into a Justice League movie. That's happened before. Is it, that, now, people don't right. people don't realize it's happened before, but. Um, yeah, the X Files, um, right into Star it. Trek. Yeah, I mean, I think I think talking about exclusively comic book stuff. Maybe they are. However, there's a precedence for taking something off TV and putting it into a movie. Yeah. Now, there's not a precedent for taking something off TV and putting it into somebody else's movie. <laughs> like, you know, Star Trek The Next Generation yeah. did a Star Trek The Next Generation movie. They didn't do, like, Star Wars. Right. You know, so taking Arrow off TV and sticking him into the Justice League, now that may be a new move. Well, technically not, because they're all in the same world. I mean, and they, and they do run together in a group. It would be cool to see like Clark Kent show up in, in an episode of Arrow. Someone, like, somebody show up, please. So, like, like or, or Batman. You know, look, okay. Batman. I don't really they, want to see Ben they, Affleck. They can do Batman. That that's doable. They could. I mean, well, like 
it would be cool to just at the end of season three or something see Bruce Wayne walk up and say, "I would right. like to talk to you," or like have like Arrow get found out, or like something happen with Queen consolidated or whatever, and then like have a reporter come up like that. They could introduce Clark, Clark Kent that way. That's yeah. nice and easy. There's no power to say, "Oh, what's your name, Clark Kent?" And then everyone be like, "Oh, I get it," because you're Superman. Yeah, it was like a hundred, you know, hundred thousand dollar cameo. Not instead of he comes up wearing the costume, in which case then now you got to pay him like five million dollars. And he's gonna be flying and shooting lasers and crap, you know. Yeah, I mean. You, there, there are ways to do it where you could let everybody understand this is all the same universe and, you know, the TV show is going to segue into the right. Justice League. But it is cool that they're, they're fusing everything together. Like, for example, uh, if you watched Iron Man 3, 1, I'm sorry, uh, and 2, you remember the part where all the people with extremists started, like, exploding mm-hmm. and had issues controlling it. They brought that into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the yeah. whole exploding thing, which is from... Iron, uh, the comic Iron Man, uh, the uh, was it the five, the five sins? There's something where he was fighting uh, Stain's son, and he was giving people extremists and sending them into Stark Tower buildings. And they were exploding on purpose. They kind of brought that into the to the show. Yeah, well, that 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 part of it I thought was a little actually the extremist thing in Iron Man three I just thought was a little lame. Like, okay, let me get this straight. This stuff is gonna make me super strong and a bomb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it heals me. Yeah. But only if I'm not a bomb. Yes. Cool. Yeah. And then uh, Tony got it. Or no, Tony didn't get it. Cause he's Pepper stupid. got it. Pepper got it, which is dumb. Because Tony was supposed to get it and had the arm, Iron Man armor come out from under his skin. But they were like, nah. See, I prefer the the extremist that was in like Iron Man Armored Adventures. Where it gave him superpowers and control yeah, over his armor. Yeah, and stuff, yeah. You know, like... That, that, that extremist was cool. No, this, he, he, he had that unless he just did it himself and it wasn't as cool or useful. Yeah, with an armor that didn't work. Ever. Like, they, well, they, they had to do that, though, because he just came off of the Battle of New York where he was super powerful. You can't have this movie where the Mandarin is not the Mandarin, and you're fighting some, just some normal guy with a jealous issue with Iron Man from Avengers. Because he'd be like, yeah, no, in the movie. They had to give him, or else it wouldn't make sense. Because he would have walked through that movie, dude. Hawkeye would have walked through that movie. That's true. It is, it's, it's true. Speaking of that, okay, um, I saw this thing, mm-hmm. and th- and this guy is like really smart when he says this. Okay, so the um, Iron Patriot armor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. It's War machine. The one that belongs to Norman Osborn. Yes. Comic books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one. The the one that's supposed to be War Machine. Yeah. Okay. So the president of the United States is hanging from a tree, uh, mm-hmm. from, from some chains in the War Machine armor. Can't do anything with it. Jim Rhodes walks up and says, I need to take this back, sir. And now he's fighting. Now you'd think that the president who's wearing this armor would not be trapped because he's wearing this armor. I don't think he does that. Well, you know what, though? I know a lot of the armors were, were coded to Tony Stark, and, and War Machine was the only one that was coded to also be for Rhodey. So maybe it wasn't coded to him, and it, it wouldn't work. He stole it. Yeah, but he, he at that point he was already in the registry because he was like he trusted Rhodey at that point, and then Rhodey was like, "Nah, man, I'm taking this." No. Nah. And then now they're all coded for just Tony, nah. except for that one. Nah, nah, that, that, Cause, that cause, makes cause, sense. That cause, makes sense. Because he uh, he also put the number forty seven on Pepper. Well, it didn't like he was controlling it though. She wasn't using it. She could have used it. No, she could have. She could have used she it. Well, I mean, it, she could have if she was coded for it. <laughs> Hence my argument. I have now made that scene logical. It didn't make any sense. It made all the sense. It made no sense. He's an old guy. He, you know they're afraid of tech. He's like, I don't know how to use this. There's all these buttons. I'm just saying, you're wearing an invincible Iron Man armor. Fight. That's all. I, I'm just I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, so just learn how to use the, the, the most advanced technology on the planet. Okay, look. These are soldiers. The President of the United States should just automatically be coded to their armor. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. He's the president. Like this should have been like, look, I don't we have think, to put the president in the side of this armor. I don't think the gut, uh, the the government was good enough to to change the coding on the war machine. He wasn't coding to the war machine. What? Who? Rhodey. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. At that no, when, when he made when uh, Iron Man two when I, when uh, when Tony made all the armors, he he was on the the registry. He was able to just get access to everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then he took the war machine at that point, and Tony decided not to go after that one, but all the other ones, he's like, I'm going to make sure I change it to just me. That's why when Rhodey was like, can you give me an armor? He's like, nah, sorry, man, they're, they're all for me. They're all <laughs> to me, I'm sorry, man. And, and yeah, speaking of that, like, okay, 
Didn't we see like the mock the the mock seven in in the end of Avengers? Um, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so like three seconds after that battle was over, he was at like the mock fifty one well, because, because he was because he, he couldn't sleep. He couldn't sleep because he was being a pussy. He's like, <laughs> I'm so sad. And then them have panic attacks, dude. You just saved the Earth. You you died, and the Hulk's rage brought you back to life. You won. I mean, at, like, because Tony Stark in the comic books has never had a panic attack on the dad. He's like, awesome, superhero. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> let me uh, sleep with alien women and show people my cool armor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I mean. He th- blew him up for no reason. You blew up your Hulkbuster. So what happens if Hulk gets taken over next, next movie? You're just completely screwed? Well, he'll build another one because <laughs> it only took like a week. <laughs> So it's fine. It, 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 it wasn't that long since the Battle of New York, right? No, nah, it was like like a couple of days ago. Yeah. I mean, like, but then again, to be fair, in comic books, everything was a couple of days ago. That's like, true. Yeah. How far are we out from uh, from the the scroll invasion? And it, the scrolls still happened like three months ago. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> like Peter Parker has had a birthday every year for like the past sixty years, but, but he's like thirty, and scrolls were still yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, yeah, it, it, it works out that way. In comic books, nobody actually ages. It, it comes to a point where, like, they give them birthdays, but they don't ever mention the year. Yeah, they like, have a birthday. You're boom, oh, years old. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want for your birthday? Yeah, uh, yeah. More women. Tony Stark. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, pretty much. Um, oh, think about Tony Stark. In the show, I love how they mentioned... Uh, that there's a uh, sweaty cosplay girls outside of Stark Tower. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. That was pretty funny. And then she was like, "Well, no, no, no. Well, that was only that one time." <laughs> but <laughs> it was a it was a pretty good show, and you know DC has some stuff coming out. There's gonna be a Commissioner Gordon show, which I'm sure without Batman will not be as interesting. But then again, though, there's a lot of street level villains that they can fight. Actually, they're going to bring they're gonna bring a lot of Batman's villains in, but this is gonna be like an origin story for Commissioner Gordon. He's not going to be commissioner. He's going to be like not even lieutenant. I think so like Sergeant it's, Gordon. So it basically like it's like Golden Boy except with the Batman. Yeah, something like that. I actually liked Golden Boy. The or episode. I didn't watch the rest. Or it, it, it'll be like CSI or something. Only <laughs> only every so, now and then. So Batman will, will, will stand there and like do like a one liner. They put some sunglasses on, <laughs> <laughs> standing on an angle. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they're, they're not going to mention Batman. They'll, or they'll mention, they maybe will mention Batman, mm-hmm. but they will never, Batman will have nothing to do with it. They should do a Batman show, and then they should also do a Superman show, and then also just do everyone in the league, have their own show, and then a league show. Yeah, they could do that. They could do that. They, they it, do that today if they wanted to. Yeah, except it's it'd not be hard. really expensive. No, it, 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 really it, doesn't, expensive. it doesn't matter. They just ch- charge more than advertising. It cost them $250 million to do the Superman movie. Yeah, but this is just a 30-minute shorts or hour long shorts every week whatever don't want, like, you'll make it back in advertising no they wouldn't yeah, yeah they would no they wouldn't yeah, they, would. they make it back in popcorn no no I mean for for TV I know what you meant oh they're, they're gonna sell popcorn to everybody yeah they'll be, they'll be like look if you want this Superman TV show you're gonna have to buy Superman popcorn at five dollars a box you know how, might, how many boxes do I have to buy well, I mean, there's 250 million people in, in the in the country. So, so we all buy one, buys one box. Okay, then I'm, I'm on board with that. I'll buy five to make sure, you know, pick up the slack for the losers who aren't going to buy it. I'm down with that. Yeah. yeah. Just give me my all DC lineup on Warner Brothers. Channel 5 from like 12 noon to 12 midnight. Just all and be DC War- channels. And WB channel should just, become, should just become DC channel. Yeah. And then I would love ABC to be eventually... Uh, the, the Marvel, Marvel channel. channel. By the way, dude, this is the first time I have watched ABC. Ever. Really? Yeah. I've never had a reason to watch it before. You can't say that out loud. I, I just did. You, you can't. Just Modern did. Family is on is on that channel. No, Modern Family has just come to U- USA. Yeah, Which yeah, channel well, I watch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, but see, you can't tell people you haven't seen Modern Family. You can tell people you haven't seen Glee. You can't tell people you haven't seen Modern Family. I, I'm actually going to start watching because I, I believe they're going they're, they're starting over again on USA when it starts. Yeah, well, that was, that was like the start of Monday. I have they've, uh, they've been, uh, Time Warner Cable. I can actually go back in time. <laughs> the, Bam! Sophia Vergara. Dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. It. It, seems, it seems pretty funny, though. Yeah, she's hot. Funny. Yeah, there's that, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, this is the first time I've ever had a reason to actually watch ABC. And I'm, I, you can't I, say that out loud. I just say it because it's true, and I now have a reason to watch ABC every week. This is Monday Night Football. I, I don't watch football. I play football. 
Actually, that's okay. We're nerds. Yeah. That, 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 that's but we're also fun. giant, so no one will say anything about that's it. That's really true. <laughs> <laughs> we're some pretty big guys. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, that's what we feel about all the DC and Marvel stuff. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was cool. Um, can't wait for Arrow to come back, which I believe is next month. Or? Na- the, the ninth, I think. The ninth? Yeah. Oh, so, so in two weeks. Pretty quick. Yes. So, we'll probably be doing... You, you want to do single episodes or combo episodes? Um, we should definitely do, like, a single episode for at least the first, ep- yeah. first episode or two. We'll have a DC and, day yeah. and a Marvel day, and then pit both of our fans against each other. <laughs> yeah, and then be looking for an article I'm going to be writing about who would win between the Justice League and the Avengers. It would be, be Justice League. They're Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. Like, I'm going to edit this These, out. They're, they're gonna all be, you see is me saying Avengers are Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Marvel Earth's Mightiest Heroes. No, no. They are Earth. Period. Anyways, um, <laughs> we're gonna be covering the Titan manga every time it comes out, uh, which is not very oh, regular. Yeah. But we're gonna be covering that. We're probably never gonna be covering Naruto or Bleach because they're all disappointing. Naruto's actually not been bad lately. Sasuke has a a sage mode uh, Susano now. Team up with uh, Jugo, so he effortlessly has gained the power of sage mode. Which, or Sage Chakra. Yeah, which, that kind of sucks. But yeah. I mean, aside from that... It's oh, just, oh, aside from that. Aside from that, Naruto hasn't been bad. Okay. It's For th- the past two weeks. No, no, it's... Read, read today's chapter. And then you'll be like, all sad face again. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this week. Um, so next time, we'll be your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe... Share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer them, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not-so-great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.